Hi, I'm Heather Pugh, and I'll be guiding you through your 30-minute vinyasa flow today, focusing on your hips and shoulders. Begin in your child's pose. Take a big cleansing breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and exhale, let it go. Seal your lips, cultivate your ujjayi breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Add a little constriction and sound to your breath. Find length as you open up your heart and hips already in this intentional pose. And now add a side stretch. Walk your hands over toward the left side of your mat, reaching through your right side body. Find length and strength through your arms. Draw your chin and lengthen your neck long. And then walk your hands over to the right and lengthen from your left hip all the way through your fingertips. Growing nice and long through your side body. Come back to your center and up to your hands and knees, tabletop. Knees come about hip width apart, hands shoulder width apart. Inhale, cow, gaze up, drop your belly. Exhale, cat, round your spine. Inhale, cow, spread across your collarbones. Exhale, cat, round, lengthen. And take a few more breaths to explore your movement, moving through more cows and cats, or in any other way that feels good for you. You can take some barrel rolls with your chest, sway your hips from side to side, just start to invite some creative movement. Inhale, reach your right arm to the sky and circle out your wrist. And then circle your arm forward and back. Start to move into your shoulder. Exhale, reach underneath you and thread your needle. Set your right shoulder to the ground and reach your left arm forward. Or you might take it around your low back for a half bind. Keep your hips centered. Bring your left hand back in. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, set it to the earth. Inhale, lift your left arm high. Circle out your wrist. And then move your arm in a giant circle forward and backward. Start to create some space in your shoulder. Lift your arm and set your shoulder to the ground. Thread your needle. Find the right place for your right hand or arm. And continue to bump your hips toward the left and center as you reach to the right with your left hand. Settle in. Bring your right hand back in, lift your left hand high, then arrive to your first downward facing dog. Lift your hips, ground your heels, and pedal out your feet. Wake up your legs. Actively press into the ground with all 10 finger pads and turn your thighs inward and upward. Add a twist, reach your left hand for the right leg, gaze under your right shoulder, and actively press the ground away through your right palm. Switch, reach your right hand for your left leg. Deepen the twist with any bend of the right elbow. Enjoy a nice twist. Release and walk your feet up to your hands. Take a gentle forward fold. You might reach for opposite elbows and hang heavy and relaxed. Allow your torso to drape long over your thighs. Bring the weight toward your toes and your hips in line with your heels. Release your arms and rise up one vertebra at a time to stand. Circle out your shoulders, reach them up towards your ears and back down and switch directions. Arrive to mountain, ground through all four edges of your feet, arms by your side. Inhale, extended mountain, gaze up. Exhale, hands meet at your heart center. Close your eyes and set an intention for your practice. I welcome you to consider the mantra, I am open to the magic of the moment. And just dedicating today's practice to being fully here now. Open your eyes, inhale, reach your arms up, extend a mountain. Exhale, open your heart, cactus your elbows, and puff your chest up to the sky. Spread across your collarbones, Anuvatasana. Inhale, re-extend. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plank, step back and lower all the way down to the ground. Inhale, baby cobra, lift your chest, stretch across your collarbones. Exhale, lower to the earth. Tent your fingers off your mat. Inhale, wide cobra, lift your chest. Exhale, draw your left shoulder in, gaze right. Inhale, wide cobra. Exhale, right shoulder in, look left. Inhale, wide bhujangasana. Exhale, lower to the earth. And extend your right arm out, open up to the left for a twist. Stretching through the front of your right shoulder, option to bend your left knee and set the foot behind you. Continue to stretch open through the chest and then switch sides, extend your left arm, stack your right hip over the left and stretch across your chest. Take a nice deep breath as you settle in. Come back to center, hands under shoulders, inhale to your tabletop, exhale puppy pose, extend your arms forward and draw your belly button towards spine. Option to come onto your chin and chest. Or you can stay on your forehead or tent your fingers for even more space. Come back to your palms and into your downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here, reconnecting to Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward, get light on your feet. Exhale, hop or step up. Fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to extended mountain, lift your arms upward. Exhale, cactus your elbows, open your heart. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank, step back. And lower onto your forearms, right forearm, then your left. Exhale, dip your hips to the right, heels pivot. And then hips to the left, heels to the left. One more time, heels and hips to the right. Exhale, twist, heels and hips to the left. Then lower into Sphinx Pose. Come onto your hips. Press into the ground as you stretch your heart forward, grounding through the tops of your feet. Then take your left hand toward your right wrist, reach your right hand for the right foot, and draw it in toward the outer hip for half frog pose. One of my favorites. Lengthening through the front of your right hip. Stretch your heart forward, then release the right heel and switch. Right hand to the left, reach your left hand for your left toes. Press into the ground as you lift your heart, stretch your hip, open your chest. Breathe deeply and release back to Sphinx. Curl the toes, lift your hips, forearm plank and into dolphin. Walk your feet toward your elbows. Press the ground away through your forearms. Then lift your elbows, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, stay. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, find your way up. Fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, extend a mountain, reach out and up. Exhale, elbows open 90 degrees. Inhale, extend a mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank. And lower just halfway this time. Elbows come 90 degrees. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, curl over the toes, ground the heels. That is our Chaturanga Dandasana. You may always use your knees for support. And feel free to always skip as well, moving right from plank to down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, bend your knees, stack and open your hip. Look under your left shoulder. Inhale, re-extend, three-legged. Exhale, lunge, step between your hands. Inhale, lift your arms, Anjanasana, high crescent lunge, square your hips, and a gentle bend of your back knee, arms by your ears. Inhale for length. 
Exhale, twist open to the right, reach your arms out to a T and gaze toward your right thumb or the earth if you need more stability. Hug your hips to the center line. Breathe in, lift your left arm for exalted warrior. Take your right hand to your low back or back leg. Find length throughout your left side body. Exhale, warrior two. Flatten your back heel, open your arms to the side. Gaze over your front middle finger now. And stretch your arms out nice and wide. Draw your shoulder blades together in the center of your back. Inhale here. Exhale, stay. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lift your right arm upward and back. Continue to lengthen through your inner right thigh, stacking the knee above the ankle. And pick a drishti. Focus your eyes on a single point. Exhale, extended side angle, reach your left arm overhead. Option to take your right arm to the thigh or hand to the earth. And you might add a half bind with your left arm around your low back. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your right leg, lift your right arm. Draw your low ribs in and root down through your tailbone. Inhale for extension. Exhale, triangle pose. Take your right hand down and left arm upward. Spread out wide through your front body. Find length as you stack your left shoulder over the right. Exhale, twisted low lunge. Ground your left hand. Lift your right arm to the sky. Stretch out through the right arm. Lengthen as you lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Step or float your heel back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. Lift your left leg, exhale, bend the knee, open your hip and stack, look under your right armpit, ground through the right heel. Inhale, re-extend, exhale, lunge, step through. Inhale, lift your arms upward, frame your ears, draw the left hip back in space and lift through the right heel. Stretch and lengthen as you breathe in. Breathe out, twist left, take your arms to a T. Stretch between your palms, hugging around your center line. How long can your arms grow? Inhale, lift your right arm to the sky, exalted warrior. Take your left arm to your low back or back leg. Stretch and extend. Exhale, warrior two, Virabhadrasana. Bring both feet flat. Bend the front knee, spread your arms out, and gaze over your front hand. Create space between your ears and your shoulders. Make sure your hips are even. Inhale, reverse warrior, flip your left palm, lift your arm upward and back. Breathe even more space between your left ribs. Choose your drishti and ground deeply into the pinky edge of your back foot. Exhale, extended side angle, shift over your front thigh, reach your right arm upward to the sky, create one long line of energy from your right heel all the way through your right arm, find your length. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your left leg, lift your left arm, ground through the tailbone and extend through your upper body. Spread wide through both of your feet for your footlock, Padabandha. Exhale, Trikonasana, shift forward, take your left arm down, hand to your shin, the earth or a block. Reach your right arm high to the sky and try to stack your shoulders. Stretch your right hip up and back. Exhale, revolve to low lunge, bring your right hand to the ground, lift your left arm. Draw your left hip back in space and hug your right ribs inward. Exhale, step your left foot back and lower halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha, Downward Facing Dog. Take a deep, full breath in. And an open mouth exhale, let it out. Preparing to flow now as we build your heat and energy. Let's go. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog, extend and reach the your heel. Exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lunge, step forward. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, open, twist to the right. Inhale, 
Exalted Warrior, lift your left arm. Exhale, Warrior Two, open your arms to the side. Inhale, Reverse Warrior, lift your right arm. Exhale, Extended Side Angle. Inhale, Reverse Triangle Pose. Exhale, Triangle, reach forward, lift your left arm. Inhale, Revolve, Low Lunge, ground the left hand, lift the right. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, and no, at any point you can skip that. Upward dog in to downward dog with your breath. Second side, lift your left leg, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, exalted warrior, lift your right arm, take your left arm back. Exhale, warrior two, open up to the side. Inhale, lift your left arm, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle pose, straighten and lift your left arm. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, revolve, low lunge, ground the right hand, lift the left. Exhale, your transition to downward facing dog will meet you there. Take a deep breath. And exhale, stay. We got one more round, adding on this time, coming into a little bit of balance. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, lift your right heel. Exhale, step through. Inhale, high crescent lunge, lift your arms. Exhale, come to warrior three, lift your back leg, balance on your right foot. If needed, your hands can always come down to the ground for extra support. Kick your heel straight backward as you reach through the crown of your head. Then set your heel back down. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lift your right arm. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, half moon, lift the back leg, stay open to the side, right hand under the shoulder or on a block. Stack your shoulders, lifting through the top arm, stack your hip, kick back. Come on back to your revolve low lunge, left hand down, right arm up. Inhale, side plank, always an option to bring your left knee to the ground. Or for more of a challenge, you can lift the right leg or set the foot inside of your left thigh for a tree plank. Stretch your right arm overhead and press the ground away through the left. Exhale, transition and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Optional chaturanga. All right, second side, you got this. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale. Warrior three, lift your back leg, balance with your hips facing the ground. Turn the inner seam of your floating leg toward the sky, and then set the heel down and lift your arms. Exhale, twist. Inhale, exalted warrior, lift your right arm, and exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift your left arm, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Float the back leg, balance on your left foot. Keep your right hip stacked over the left. Reach through the right hand. Exhale, revolve, low lunge. Ground the back heel, lift the left hand. And then come to your side plank pose. Press the earth away through the right palm. Maybe you take that tree variation. And lower with control, chaturanga dandasana. We got a rest coming up here. Come down to your knees, child's pose. Hands can stay forward or come to reverse prayer behind the nape of your neck. Settle your hips toward your heels and spread across your heart. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. And then come up, back and into a downward facing dog. 
and step your right foot forward for warrior one. Both feet are flat. Take up some space, feet to the edges of your mat, arms up to the sky, and your hips are square. Reach for the left wrist with the right hand and reach over to the right. Gaze down for extra grounding and lengthen your left side. Interlace hands behind you, come to center for humble warrior. And then fold forward, stretch your arms to the sky, and hug your right hip back, both feet nice and spread. Reach your arms upward. Release, straighten your legs, hands to the earth for Parsvottanasana Pyramid Pose. You can also reach the hands back. And you might bend the back knee, straighten even more and lengthen into the right leg. Find extension through your hamstring. And come into Lizard Pose, both hands inside of the right foot, bend the right knee. You could start with the knee lifted, with the left knee lifted, then set it down to the ground. Continue to lengthen through the front of your left hip. For even more depth, you can twist here to the right, coming to the pinky edge of the right foot. Reach the right hand back, option to bend the left knee and reach for the outer edge of your heel as you draw it towards your glute. Release if you're in that extension. Come back to center. Gaze forward and step your left foot up for Malasana squat. Feet are on the edges of your mat. Sink your hips down, hands come to your heart. Yogi squat, Malasana. Let your hips sink down, draw your belly to spine. Spread through your chest. Breathe deep. Lift your hips, walk your feet in, forward fold. Step your right foot back, setting up for warrior one, second side. Left foot is forward, right foot is back. Hips are facing evenly forward. If they were headlights of a car, you'd be pointing straight ahead. Reach to the left hand around your right wrist and stretch your over to your left. Lengthen from the right heel through your right wrist. Inhale, extend. Exhale, interlace your opposite thumb on top behind you this time and fold into Humble Warrior. Stretch your arms skyward. Keep your front knee bent right over the ankle and lengthen your palms toward the sky. Release, straighten your front leg and fold into Pyramid Stance. Hips stay squared and to deepen you might bend the back knee, flex the left toes and then fold a little more deeply toward your left heel. How is your breath? Come into lizard pose. Stretch to the front of your right heel. You might lengthen your stance a little more and eventually set to our right knee on the ground. Find length and space to the front of your hip. To go further, you can twist to the left, come to the pinky edge of your left foot and possibly reach for your back heel. Draw it towards your glute, bringing the weight off of your back knee and slightly shifting toward your thigh. And let that go gently. And this time bring the left knee back toward the right and add a little wrist love here. Flip your wrists, your thumbs point out and shift back to stretch through your wrist. And then turn your hands out, thumbs face in, rock a little side to side. Come to the backs of your palms, bend your elbows, and just explore a little bit of wrist love here. And then we'll come up to the knees for today's peak pose, Ustrasana, camel's pose, a nice deep heart opener and hip opener. Option to curl your toes, hands come to your low back, lift your gaze, lift your heart, and if you can see behind you, you might reach your hands for your heels. Press your hips forward and open. Engage your core as you lift your chest to the sky. Release and sit on your heels. Bring your knees together and arms by your sides. Set your forehead toward the earth for closed knees, child's pose. Relax for a moment. Reach your hands for your heels. Come to the crown of your head, rabbit's pose. Lift your hips. Stretch your neck, pressing through the top of your head. Come back to a seat, release, back 
From table, lift your right leg and set the toes behind you onto the ground. Shift forward and back. Stretch your heel and your calf. Stretch your leg up and then shift your shin forward for pigeon pose. Always an option to come onto your back for reclined pigeon. Lift your heart and chest, square your hips, or you can bring something under your right hip if needed. Then fold over your front shin and you can either stay on your forearms or lower your forehead all the way down to the ground. Settle in for five full breaths. And you might use your fingers to count the breaths, pressing the pinkies together as you breathe. Then the ring finger, middle finger, and so on. Notice any unnecessary tension you can relax. And once again, reconnect to the present moment. I am here now. And clench your jaw, relax the space between your eyebrows. Release, walk your hands back in, lift your right leg up, circle it out, reinvigorate your leg and switch. Inhale, lift your left leg up, set your toes down and shift forward and back. Take your shin forward, setting up your pigeon pose Open your heart up, then fold over your front shin, Akapada Rajaka Potasana, half pigeon. And settle in, taking your five breaths. Notice when your mind goes to the past, to the future, and instead keep it here in this magical present moment, knowing when we take the time to do that here on the yoga mat, it makes it even easier to do as a practice after we practice. So we might fully enjoy each and every moment. Come out of your pose, curl the back toes, lift the left leg, circle it out at any movement. And then make your way onto a seat, setting up for our Padakanasana bound angle pose. Bring your feet together and knees out. You can either hold the feet or your ankles. Exhale, fold forward. Draw your knees down to the ground and settle in. You can either Remain long in the spine or allow it to round just a bit. Relax and surrender, feeling everything slow down. And come out of the pose and onto your back. Bring your knees to your chest, rock them from side to side or draw gentle circles to massage your low back. Then take your knees to the left, gaze to the right for a simple twist. One last opportunity to show your spine some love. Settle in. Feeling your breath go slower. Your heartbeat slows down. Take your knees to the right, gaze to the left. Try to maintain the left shoulder on the ground. Feel everything slow down. Guide your way back to center, knees in, give yourself a hug. You might reach for the opposite edges of your feet, hug it in, breathe in, tight. Exhale, let everything go, Shavasana. Allow your feet to flop out toward the corners of the mat. Flatten onto your shoulders. Close your eyes if it's comfortable. And let everything go. Often we are trying to think of how to make the most of the time. 
but instead, can you just let time pass? Enjoy the bliss you've created here for yourself, and I'll let you know when it's time. Shavasana. You may choose to linger a little longer, or if you're ready to come back to your day, deepen your breath, move your body, inviting movements into your hands, your feet, your arms, your legs. And you can come on to one side, bend your knees and use an arm like a pillow, noticing gratitude how you are feeling thanks to your practice. Rise up to one final seated position Sit up nice and tall, find length. Hands meet at your heart center. Thank yourself for taking the time and space to really embrace the present moment here for your practice. And I thank you for allowing me to guide you through. Until next time.